One of the early mistakes that I made was not understanding the features of the house and who I'd like to see living in that house. But once I kind of got a feel for who I'd like to see living there, I made sure that we had the features that they were looking for so I could target specific people, whether it be families that had a dog or students hanging out in a share house. It was just about making sure that what was in the property um, really fitted in with those people. So, and since then, it's been great. I definitely wouldn't be managing a property myself ever, ever again. That is big number one mistake. When you have a property manager in place, you don't have that stress because they're dealing with it. It's strictly business. Whereas from an owner's point of view, if you're involved in the business of managing it yourself, you become attached and you need to make that break and get a professional company to help you with that management. The one big mistake that we made is when we first bought the unit, we didn't really understand too much about loans um, and I guess the cost of doing business and so we had quite a large deposit, we had enough for a 20% deposit and when we got to see a mortgage broker we thought this um, you know, mortgage insurance, we're never paying that so we used all of our money to put that deposit on a unit um, and pay for a small amount of renovations and knowing what we know now, I would never ever have spent that much money just to avoid paying a little bit of mortgage insurance. So um, for us, we look back and that was probably a really big mistake. We could have had more cash flow um, to potentially get into another property sooner or do more with the renovations without having to dip into savings.